so you know and it, what what had happened originally we kind of almost asked for permission to raise money and they're like you know you can ask friends and family and you know i put it on facebook for a private group and it was friends and family that we invited and i'm just you know so i sent you the recording right now if you want to play it play it the recording uh, from the lawyer that you mentioned mm -hmm. yeah this is a this is a part of the gag order hearing the last part right before our internet went down on the land and i got disconnected um this is this is what was said and uh, this lawyer is one of i think seven board certified lawyers in child abuse in the state of texas and uh and her name's sherry i'm sure everybody can find her somehow but she uh this is what happened Hold if on, you don't mind while, while you play this i'm gonna step aside just for a minute let's go yeah i'll get it i'll get it so oh, did you get it i'm sorry yeah i've i've got it i'm just uh i'm trying to make sure there's no um information associated with it that'll that'll pop up on screen when i actually play it that's all i'm doing so let's see i mean uh, yeah, my name's in there there's a no, slight I meant little bit of testimony i'm sure they say this is all confidential and shouldn't have been recorded but you know what guys like start following the law how's that then things don't need to be recorded maybe make open courtrooms again in family law that'd be a great idea maybe hold yourself accountable to the standards that you swore you uphold that'd be a great idea yeah then maybe okay. people wouldn't have to record and prove that you're doing shady shit behind closed doors okay let me um judge cynthia wheelis is overseeing just to set the stage cynthia wheelis is overseeing the court that day um charity bolserine is the stand-in attorney for me um who i represented me the previous friday you have uh, i believe rachel lee's in there and Shmesh in there kelly's mom's in there kelly's in there i think that's about it and and well, there's a little bit of the hearing and then we step aside into a breakout room because i'm like what is going on i don't know what to do um and i start catching shit from her and and this is and then it progresses into the conversation and i think you'll find the end part pretty interesting all right here we go so this is a little bit long i'm going to start playing it and uh yeah if you want to step away that's fine about your granddaughter's safety and well-being can i tell you object us to the response would be called based on hearsay and anything that she viewed which is an out-of-court statement overruled and overruled I am concerned about the welfare of my four grandchildren and my daughter. Are you concerned about your safety as well? Yes, I am. Have you received any threats to your knowledge? I personally have not. I have seen some of Kelly's. That's an objective to hearsay after I personally have not. The same. <clears throat> Um, when you said you've seen some of Kelly's, you're talking about posts? Well, they literally just objected to the fact that she saw some of Kelly's because it's hearsay, and then they, she goes on to ask her about it. Hope she objects again. Text messages on her phone. Object again. Hearsay. Object, object is the hearsay. How'd they get her camera? Uh, overruled. What? With eyes of text is different than reading a statement out of court are you uh, fucking Cole, kidding me <laughs> no it isn't she's going to report on the words of a different party who's available just saying that she saw them rather than heard them come on now could you please unmute yourself sir yes ma'am yes your honor this, this is to be treated just like a courtroom, and so I can see your mouth moving, and so if you are talking at all, it still is, even though it's muted, it still is a contempt of court behavior. So please, if you would... Wait, what? Are, are, are you serious? It's a contempt of court behavior to discuss something off camera or uh, muted? What? What? Just... Uh, stay with the hearing and just listen and um, even though you're on mute um, if you would if you're talking to someone and you'd like to take a break to talk to them please just ask the court and you can take a break okay i'd like to okay. take a break to talk to charity because i haven't discussed anything with her if possible yes absolutely
absolutely. In fact, let me make a breakout room. Am I the... <laughs> okay, a judge typically is going to ask the parties if they feel adequately represented in what's going on. Like, especially when you've got a stand-in attorney. Host or co-host? Yeah, I'm the host. Hang on just a moment. Thank you very much, Your Honor. Yes, Absolutely. There's birds. Okay. Okay, perfect. Now I can see you straight up. Hi, Charity. How are you? Uh, I've been better. Oh, I've been better too. Um, um, so good to meet you. So here's what I'm, I'm trying to keep all of this off the record. I too have seen all the posts. Um, I was yeah. tagged and connected to them. Just, I, I mean, overwhelmingly. You were over tagged. The weekend. How were you tagged? Um, because I'm, I'm a child advocate, right? So all of my friends that have seen these posts out there on Facebook have been forwarded them to me. Oh, okay. And yeah. joined me into some of the groups. All I can tell you is, and encourage you is, if. You need to shut it down as best you can. It's not helping your case. It was a pri it's only making it worse. Well, it was a private group, and then it... Yeah, but I understand. So here's the thing. When you share your children's confidential information with anybody, you don't control what they do with that, and that's how it spiraled out of control. I know. So you need to reach out to all of those people and ask them to please stop. No, you do because not. What the not fuck is she talking case. about? Charity, it went to... They are actually worse. It, it got 12.4 million people yesterday. I understand. This this is in <laughs> view around like... Well, reach out to them. people I writing understand. into embassies abroad and stuff. It's crazy. And it wasn't on but purpose. But it's not helping. Well... I, but here's the thing. And, and, this, and I don't know... What By the way, bullshit, it's not helping. Bullshit. You notice when things were going in Michael's favor were when he was talking about it and when when he was not able to, when he stopped. Notice what happened after that? You and Taylor talked about with all the social media posts. But, I mean, I could tell my clients, and I would venture to guess that she does too, your private case information doesn't need to be shared on social media because it's not going to help anything. So I guess I, I have a real gap during, in I oh, Hold on, hold I'm on. Sorry, this is gonna be, I tell my clients during litigation, if you're going to post anything, post about kitties and puppies and the sun being bright and blue, but don't post anything that you put out there in social media can be used against you or for you. And now you can thoroughly see be against you. Uh, yeah, no, see really you being against you. Apparently someone put my name in a post about the TRO hearing on Friday afternoon. There it is. There it is, right? You hear it. Some put my name in a post. I'm in a post. I'm I'm fucking sorry. Some somebody else did did I do that? No, I didn't do that. What? See, this is why this is why I'm I'm like trying to figure out what the heck is going on. Because either my phone is hacked and things are leaking through there, or they're leaking through a file that I've given to the authorities, or they're going some way out. Okay, because not all this stuff is something I distribute. I, I don't know, but I mean, I, I, I don't in either. no way connected to your case, but um, I don't know if it's your wife from whatever she was Facebook life feeding during the... I don't know. All I know is the, the Pandora's box that has been opened. Huge. Is awful. I can tell you. No, now you ride it. Now you ride the wave. Now you don't try to put it back after it's open. No, no. Silence might have been an okay strategy. I I don't know that I agree with that, but I can at least see that perspective. Once it's open, you can't try and put it back. I'm not going to call you to testify because anything you say can be used against you. There are potential criminal charges that could be pending because. From For what? I understand there are death threats to the amicus attorney who is an officer of the court. And she, I, I understand. But I am doing the best I can to protect the record 
from pleadings that I got last night at nine o'clock in this mm. leak. Okay. Protect the record, not protect the client. Hmm. Yeah, and I don't get this either. So I'm like, I had no time to even show you anything or talk about anything. Well, the fact I, that I don't either. You, you want to? I mean, we're talking twelve hours, very much on the fly. Yeah. Of of, of, of protecting everything, the best that can be done. Uh, Taylor's on vacation and can't. I mean, we're working as best we can because that's that's what we do to help each other out. I'm not gonna call you. And there's a very specific reason why. What? You can already tell you're on very thin ice with the court. Um, if they can prove up these... Oh, not going to call you to testify. That I, I have seen from other people through other Facebook feeds, which I can keep out as hearsay, right? Jesus, uh, but if they can prove those up, that's a criminal offense. I mean, not against Michael. Anybody. I, I understand, but... The not, inference, what it looks like. I'm just explaining to you why I'm not going to call you. I know. Like, I'm, I'm just letting just you know straight best. up. Like, I'm not. I'm, 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 I'm love. I'm just doing my best to protect the record. Well, look, I think okay. that here's, here's the thing. Do we have a couple minutes here or are we going to be rushed? No, we really don't because we are in an emergency hearing on the court's time that she already had to send out a new seat because they're sharing the Zoom link. And when you get a Zoom link, I'm pretty sure in there it says don't share it with anybody. I didn't look at this. Um, this all went so fast. I thought I would have witnesses. For instance, my father wasn't even in Frisco. My wife should be on this hearing. Then it's the same thing every single time. It's, 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 an, it's an emergency hearing yeah. for the actual, because there's a hearing on Thursday on the 3rd. That's when the full-blown hearing is. This is just the emergency hearing to show is there a need to stop gap between now and Thursday. That's all this hearing is. Okay. <laughs> It's not the full evidentiary hearing. I don't even know oh, what's I'm going on anymore. Anyway. It's not a full evidentiary hearing, and you're not going to you're not going to call your only witness because of a BS thing about uh, about where, where I guess waiving Fifth Amendment privilege, which is insane. Mm. You need to reach out to those groups and ask them to cease. Just so you guys know, if you are in a hearing an emergency hearing for a temporary restraining order. Uh, yeah. You've got the one party has to make the allegation. They have to reach, they have to show that they're in fear, right? They have to do that subjective fear and objective fear. They have to say, it's reasonable that I am in fear for my safety based on X. And then the only opportunity that you get to counter that at all is if you have the other party testify. So to say, I'm not going to have you testify because there could be criminal stuff when there's no, when, when Michael is not shown to have made any of these death threats, like the level of criminality is so attenuated at this point, he would have to come on and say, I directed a person to make a death threat, uh, which is insane because the lawyer wouldn't ask that question. If they asked it on cross, he'd just say no. So that's your only shot. So for her to foreclose this is, is crazy town. And desist. I and have. not but, but I have asked people to stop. I've even asked right, the people well, involved to stop. Charity, right, Charity, okay, it's, you can do. look, they see what they see. Like at this point, the videos are gone. They're making their own judgments. I, I, I don't threaten people. Hell, okay, I want my kids to be safe. Okay, well, we have to go back to the hearing because she's not going to leave. I mean, pretty soon we're just going to start back in. I don't want us to be talking. Well, listen, back stuff like this. I was in a nightgown. You were in a nightgown. Okay, so what? I can't. Okay. Sophie, Sophie, so hold on when she was in her interview. What? Do I need to stop it? Okay, let me, let me, no, no, no. Let me interject. What you just heard, um, because we trusted no one for reasons that I think you're starting to see why. Um, Courtney had. Uh, monitored uh, Sophie's cell phone when she went in to meet with Rachel Lee. And that's how we documented that she had actually told Rachel Lee uh, that there were things going on. We didn't know what she was going to say, but she did talk to her. And Courtney was so pissed off during this hearing. She just grabbed her phone. She's like, yeah, well, what about this? I mean, we're just trying to protect the kids. And so what you just heard was a recording of Sophie talking about uh, these things with Rachel Lee, which Rachel Lee denied later, but go ahead. Sorry. Okay. Thanks. And later we, we listened to what she recorded the whole time she's in there and she's talking to 
to Rachel Lee about all the things that happened to her and Rachel Lee saying nothing That's happened. Not Rachel Lee's voice. It, yeah, it is. It is. Well, first of all, I, I'm going to pretend like I didn't hear that because an officer of the court, if there's a recording that happened during her forensic interview or her meeting with the amicus attorney, I have to disclose it. Well, that's fine. Maybe they should have taken away her phone. But she's smart. So, and she's been told she's a liar so many times. that I understand. But again, so I'm, just I don't, letting I'm know. not going to be put, put in a position to be with unethical issues. And, and that, that does cause for concern. Um, but as far as this hearing, I'm not going to call you because there are potential of criminal charges for you. And putting you on the stand only exacerbates that. There are so not. Make sure you understand that. I don't understand. The number, the when, you, when you called our answering service, they must have taken the the number down wrong. That's why I couldn't call you back oh, in the meantime. Sorry. That's why Mary called you back. Um, I don't understand what's going I, on, Charity. This doesn't make sense to me at all. I well, it's a, it's a, it's a, the whole purpose of this is the hearing to put a gag order on anything that can be tied back to you to what you're putting out on the internet. That's what this is about today. You know, people, since the internet came out, people have been trying this gag order stuff and basically every court shuts it down. Basically all of them, because you can't gag order the internet. Uh, that this attorney doesn't know that is is an abomination. Like it's it's embarrassing for her that, that she's treating this in this way. You have one party attempting to use a temporary restraining order to gag another party who has achieved successful uh, dissemination of a public court hearing um, or a, 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 of a public court dispute. Um, and, and they're attempting to gag them through using a TRO. All you have to do is go in front of the court and be like, judge, you can't gag order the internet. My client shared something. It was public. There's nothing preventing my client from sharing this. My client didn't direct anybody to do anything with the information, just wanted to share it and raise awareness. People did what they're going to do. You can't gag order my client to prevent other people from talking. That doesn't work. And my client has a First Amendment right to talk about his own children, his own court case. This is insane. They're going after him because they think that they can trick you into gagging him so that the unfavorable appearance of their client doesn't come out into the public. And this is all pretextual and it's just to suppress my client's first amendment rights. And there's no way you should issue this order. That should have been the opening statement. Like what, why, why this attorney is sitting here flabbergasted by any of this stuff is beyond me. Uh, <sighs> so I can merely come back and, and we can say, we agree that you will not do any post. You will put a post out there that says, if you're continuing to share this, please stop until the full hearing on Thursday. I don't think I can stop it now. And not for myself. I can stop it myself. But. Uh, again, I'm not saying you can. I'm saying you will agree to put a post. You can't control what other people do, but you can request it. Yeah, and sure. you can let the court know that's what you're willing to do, if that's what you're willing to do. Charity, can I ask you a question? Sure. You fight for, for children, right? I mean, it's a big deal to you. I do. If you saw how many tens of thousands of people have come out and they have said, it happened to me too, and I will stand behind her too, and how much healing is happening right now with these people, it is. That's not the point. That's not the point of this. The point is this, this is one child. I haven't seen her forensic interviews and I haven't read any of the records, so I, I don't know. I mean, that's all I can tell you. With my job right here today, is to try to keep you from going to jail. Yeah, well, look, I mean... For what? You're not... Here, here's the other thing. Like, I don't want anybody to feel like they're threatened. That was never the intention. If this needs to be done in oh, a different venue, we should. But yeah, Because I don't want people here that are involved to feel like they're going to get threatened over this stuff. It needs to be fair. We need it, to have a real it's conversation. It's not feel like they're going to get threatened. It's already happened. Yeah, I know. So we should, like, stopgap that and put it into a different venue. It so, needs to happen. What, but, but I'm saying is... Do you, uh, Really, all I need to know is you want to agree to the gag order at least until the full evidentiary hearing. So Thursday? And then I put out a post just saying, uh, uh, You can take that back to the court and see if the court and the parties will accept that. I, I don't know. <laughs> what about what Sophie's accepting right now? 
Yeah, I mean, I don't get understand why she's even there. I'm sorry, I, I can't hear what she's saying. Sorry, well, come here, so or come here, Court. My wife should be on this call. She's the one that heard most stuff. Well, so. I, we don't. I mean, here's the thing. We don't, we don't have a ton of time. I just need to know: Do you want to continue with this, or do you want to me to ask them if they will agree? It's 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 up to it's up to you. I mean, this all happened so fast. I don't have time to. I haven't even slept. I don't even know what the hell. Nobody's talked to me. And I don't understand why, like, people are all, like, friends and stuff. And, like, you got Wheelis with, like, Rachel. And I know that Rachel wrote up false things. And I'm, I'm like, this isn't fair. This isn't right. We're all friends. I mean, it's a very small community with what we do. So, I mean, I, I'm friends with Judge Wheelis. I mean, that's I, not going to be a secret. I My husband it. went to high school with all of them. And that's, so. that's great. Except Then get out. Get out of the case. You recuse yourself from the case. You judge, we need a continuance of this. There's no way I can represent this. I have a conflict of interest. I've just admitted it. I'm not adequately representing my client. She's representing that there's criminal charges. There's no pending criminal charges. Uh, there's nothing going on here. This is insane. She, When she said, oh, oh, I, well, I haven't read her specific file. It doesn't matter if you've read her specific file. You are the attorney representing this person. That's your only at concern at this point you have a duty of candor and I, i'm sorry that you're just stepping in uh for someone else at your law firm doesn't matter the firm has an ethical obligation to the client right now they're breaking it it's oh for i'm i don't feel like it burns me up through this process and it only gets fed further when i realize that people have close I, I connections don't, I, I don't know I, I haven't been a part of it so i can't i i literally only know about thursday or friday, friday and today that's that's all i know I haven't, except for all the Facebook tags I got all weekend long and the hearing on Friday, that is literally all I know. Friday's hearing consisted of Amber filed based on the video from the exchange, Amber filed on Thursday to stop your phone calls and your FaceTime. And the court didn't get the notice until Friday, so the hearing was Friday afternoon. And what the judge said was, and she was going to short set that hearing and until the hearing, there was going to be no contact based on the video. Okay. Um, she would have granted that on Thursday. I argued there was no emergency because Thursday had passed. There's not only no emergency, there's no threat. It's a video of a little girl crying. It's not a threat to anybody. What are, what are we talking again? You go in front of the judge. Where's the threat? It's, you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna put a gag order based on a video. My client's not in the video. Your client's taking the video. Yeah, but he's not talking. He's not making a threat. There's no one out there. Uh, well, your client posts the video. Okay. Does the post contain a threat? No. Well, other people threaten because of the post. Is there any evidence that my client instructed anybody to threaten anyone else? No. Your Honor, dismiss this immediately. This is a waste of the court's time and resources. This is a prior restraint on protected First Amendment speech. Oh, it's there wasn't another supposed to call until Tuesday. She would have said she would have granted it anyway. And then all of this happened over the weekend. So you have everything snowballing. Yeah, right? it went so fast. We did, I had no time. I think so. Um, no, say what you're gonna say quickly. You know, you, no, say just, say. just really quickly. Um, I don't. I don't know how we're gonna deal with this going forward. But I'm just. I'm. I'm just mind blown that people are worried that Kelly feels threatened when Jake's been threatening Sophie's life if she talks about the abuse in the home. And there she is in her possession. I. I, right I just don't understand made, it. Right, right now, what's made it worse is all of these people are now threatening people that are just doing their jobs. The CPS worker. All of the attorneys yeah, this, of the court. This was supposed to be friends and family to help raise money because they drained us of over $30,000. Like we had nothing left. Like, well, I'm just going to tell you. And I don't and know how it got talk, out like that. Did you talk to Taylor before you put up the GoFundMe? Yeah. Yeah, did. she said friends and family were okay. Yeah, and I don't know who private. shared it. GoFundMe goes to more than friends and family. No, no. But first of all, it, it doesn't, why would you have to, like, like, again, shit advice, friends and family only. No, you put up a GoFundMe so that other people can contribute. Of course you do. Of course that's the purpose. And you want other people to contribute. And there's literally nothing wrong with it. We have 
so much jurisprudence on the fact that third party funding of of uh, court cases is okay. Hell, the the entire Gawker lawsuit with Hulk Hogan was privately funded by Peter Thiel to go after Gawker. Like he didn't even care about Hulk Hogan's issue. He just wanted to shut down Gawker and he paid for the whole damn lawsuit himself. They objected all over it and the judge is like, "Yes, so what?" Who cares who paid for it? Is there is there conflict that Hulk Hogan needs to make sure his lawyers are representing him, even though Peter Thiel's paying for him? Uh, if there's a conflict there, that's between Hulk, his lawyers, and Peter Thiel. GoFundMe is even better because the people contributing to the GoFundMe don't have any influence over the representation. They can't. Their contributions are too small. They tend to be uh, attenuated by distance and anonymity. There's, uh, it's, it's actually a brilliant way to fund lawsuits. It's been defended successessfully basically every time it's been tried. Oh, we made, we made it private. It was unlisted. We made it private. We did, put you, a did you tell your friends and family not to share it? Well, they shared it with their friends and family. Okay, well, those aren't your friends and family. I mean, your friends and family shared it with their friends and family who shared it with their friends and family. Then that's not your friends and family. Well, that's if my immediate friends and family had enough to support me, we wouldn't have to do a GoFundMe in the first place. I understand, but again, you, you Taylor said make it your friends and family. Like Facebook friends no. and then my family? Again, we're, we're getting off topic. I, okay. I'm just trying to. You brought it up. Because Look, bottom when line. You let it outside your inner circle, it snowballs. So I'm getting a message that the court wants us back. Do you want me to make the proposal to agree to just the temporary gag order until the hearing on Thursday? We don't. We don't even know what the gag order is. I don't know. It's basically going to be you can't post anything, and I'm going to offer up that you're going to put a post out there on every place that says. Please stop continuing to forward this and feed this. Again, I 1 million percent disagree with this advice. The moment you, uh, and I've said this in other cases as well, the moment you try and take responsibility for the actions of others, like somehow you're legitimizing that those other people who, by the way, could be in theory working for your opponents or working alongside your opponents or hell even your other uh, your opponents lawyers or paralegals you have no idea who's making any of this you should never ever agree to try and tell the internet uh to stop doing something it's the worst plan the moment you tell the internet to stop doing something they do the opposite you don't do it and and the uh, Again, these. So this is my point I've been making for three years now. Lawyers today don't understand the environment that they're in. They don't understand social media. They don't understand big tech. And it shows every single time you get any of them involved in it. They, they do not know what they're talking about. And, and gee, it, they should all hire me as a consultant. I'll make a billion dollars and buy Jeff Bezos' yacht. How does that look for him as a father? Yeah, how does that look for me? I don't know. Well, your other option is potentially her issuing a KPS and sending you to jail for continuing to do this because I have a feeling she's granting the gag order. How long do you have to yes, go to jail? I have Good no question. Idea. I have no idea what she will find. But the death threats are a criminal offense. That's a whole different nature. I didn't make that. But we didn't, I mean, we didn't even want it to go to this many people, let alone have people reach out to them in any way. Again, if they can prove that you're connected to them, that's a different story. I'm trying to keep it from even getting there. Okay. Why? Let them bring that. That's fine. If I need to keep quiet until Thursday, that's fine. Um, And I'll put something out. And and it may be that they have you take everything down. Because if you've taken it down, then... You know, hopefully that'll stop it from getting sorted. I can't. They're not even in my hands. Well, they're not in anybody's hands. They're on the internet. But yeah. you can take things so, off the internet. No, how I do can't. we? How do we take things off the internet? Though I don't understand. You, you gotta. You understand. contact YouTube and have it removed. <laughs> we can do that until the court approves it because that's foliation of evidence. <laughs> No, 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 no. All of that was wrong. Literally just all of it. First of all, YouTube doesn't just take it down. Second of all, it's not spoliation of evidence because YouTube keeps a copy. Again, if a lawyer is going to talk to you about social media and it's not like Ian Corzine, right? The social media lawyer. Don't listen to them. They're idiots. All of them are stupid. 
Every one of them. They, they don't know how to use. Look, go look at their website and their social media presence and their eight followers and their two Google reviews. And you'll know immediately that person knows nothing about social media. Oh, I, sorry. We don't understand. Okay. I'm sorry. Um, she'll, she'll, the, the, our lawyer will probably fill us in. Yeah. With Taylor, we'll be back tomorrow. But you need, they need you now. I tell you that she's asking to withdraw based on. Yeah, she's withdrawing from the council, so. I can give you names of of individuals to call, but you're going to have to, whatever advice they give you, you have to follow it. Doesn't understand what advice is, apparently. How How can we be held accountable for silencing other people? I don't know how to, I don't know how to do that. Again, I, I've given you a proposal to, to take to the court, but you have to let you have to tell me to take it to the court. I mean, right? I'm, I'm, I'm here. I'm listening. I'm trying to see. I mean, right now I'm looking at a Facebook post that appears to be from your Facebook page that, that it looks like you've made. I've made the argument that no one can prove that you did that. What? Right? What do you wait? 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 What? Uh, what post? What is that noise? Are, are you there? Can you, you hear me? Shared a link. It's right here. I can hear you. Okay. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you now. I can hear you. Can you hear me? Charity? Charity. Charity. happen all right um 